Hello everyone, this is Kelly Mara here. I'm finally back again after um, a month long hiatus, I think. Yeah, assignments tend to do that to you. <laughs> anyway, today I'm going to be doing something a little bit different. I didn't actually intend on making this video or even covering this topic, but uh, someone on my Discord server actually told me that Yandere Dev had posted another video addressing um, the game's pace, I guess, and I didn't actually want to cover it. I just wanted to see what he said. But then I started um, bringing up a few points just spontaneously, and I thought it would be fun to kind of record my live reaction to that. So be warned, I didn't record it with my usual microphone, I just had my phone out, so if the quality is bad, then I apologize, but hopefully uh, you guys get a laugh out of it, or yeah, I don't know, it manages to entertain you while you draw or do something else. But before we begin, please follow me on all my social media. I've got Twitter, I post a lot on there, just random thoughts I have, or pictures or drawings and also check out my Instagram for more of my art stuff. I guess I also have Tumblr and DeviantArt but I'm not really on there as much. But if you want to check that out, go ahead and check that out. Anyway, on with the video. I'm just <laughs> recording my live reaction to Yandere Dev's newest video because I was bringing up a lot of good points, <laughs> so I didn't record like the first three minutes. He's just starting to talk about uh, how Yandere Simulator was like a checklist for him to fulfill. And he's doing that thing where it sounds like he's going to be like um, making, I'm not going to say making excuses, I'm going to break so because people are just going to be like, oh, you're just being mean. No, I'm going to say he's doing that thing where he's going to try and rationalize his actions in a way that puts him in a better light, uh, which he does a lot. So we shall see. We shall see. Something that would be finished as soon as every task on the list was complete. However, I eventually stopped seeing Yandere Simulator that way. Over time, I started to see the game as something else. There were a lot of different factors that changed my perception of the game, but out of all of them, the one factor that had the greatest degree of influence was the game's sudden rise to popularity on YouTube, starting in 2015. Uh, yeah, I guess that's fair. That was when he was, like, rushing, right? He's, like, trying to build, keep the hype, which was, like, basically his goal. Basically what his job is now. He doesn't even develop a game. He's just like a hype man, right? Being able to watch people play the game I was developing was an eye-opening experience. I got to see what parts of the game were confusing to people, what features people enjoyed the most, and I got to hear people talk about the features they wished were in the game. Releasing a new build of the game then watching people play the latest build on YouTube, and then making improvements to the game based on what I saw in those videos was a positive feedback loop that quickly became my daily routine. It was so rewarding and so fulfilling that it began to affect the way I viewed the game. Instead of seeing Yandere Simulator as a checklist of tasks to complete, I started seeing the game as something that should constantly be updated and improved based on what I observed from the fan base. And hence feature creep, right? Is that what we're getting at? When I saw how much fun players were having with a mod that allowed them to pose the game's characters, I decided to add new functionality to the game that would help players be creative and build scenes. But the, okay, see, this is where we're starting to get into the problem, and I don't know if he's gonna address it as well, but he started doing these, he started being more focused on like pleasing people, right? And giving them what they want instead of actually developing the skeleton of the game. It's like he's 
creating DLCs before the game is actually complete. That's the issue, right? He's adding like a photo feature because people were doing that when it's like you didn't even have to because people were already doing that. What is the point of actually doing it yourself when it's already been done? It's not an improvement at that point. You're just uh, deviating. And I think if there's one thing that we can, we should all agree on actually, is that Yandere Dev is terrible at prioritizing. When I saw how much fun people were having with the game's murder mechanics, even though the game lacked an official rival to kill, I decided to add a new gameplay mode, where the player is given missions to kill specific students while meeting strict criteria, so that people could enjoy the act of eliminating targets and completing objectives even without a rival in the game. But you're not, you're missing the point though. The point, the reason why people were like having fun killing was because the big YouTubers who mostly did Yandere simulator content were doing it because those YouTubers obviously are trying to <clears throat> make new content, right? And Yandere Dev, instead of actually doing what the game needed, he gave people what they wanted. But people don't always necessarily know what they want or they they might not know what's actually best for your game, right? Because it's still his game. And yet, again, he's trying to do these quick fixes that aren't really fixing anything in hindsight. He's just delaying the inevitable, right? He's like, oh, yeah, people like killing, so uh, instead of actually giving them a reason to kill, I'm just going to put on this band-aid solution. And that's all that is. Uh, that's all Yandere Simulator is. Like, all of it is just band-aid solutions. When I saw how much fun players were having by creating challenges for each other, such as killing all of the students at school in alphabetical order, I decided to make those challenges official, complete with new music and new features. Why, though? <laughs> Why did you need to? You I get it. You want to seem like you're listening to the fans. But you didn't have to. You could have you didn't have to add it to the game. You could have just made a post or something being like, "Wow, this thing that everyone's doing is pretty cool." And people would have appreciated that. You just You know what I'm saying? He's doing too much, I think. That's his problem. Or at least he's doing too much of the wrong thing. As time passed, Yandere Simulator started to feel less like a checklist of tasks and more like an amusement park. Yeah, that's actually correct. Okay, we'll see where he goes with this. But the, that, that, that pretty much sums it up pretty well. He's like, he's too busy trying to please people. Like you shouldn't, obviously you should cater to your fans, but you should... Your fans aren't there to dictate your content. When my YouTube channel took off and became way more popular than I ever expected, I felt an immense amount of pressure to upload videos on a regular basis and to give each video higher production values than the last. And that's fair. I definitely felt that too when my YouTube channel started blowing up. Uh, it's understandable to want to post like all the time because you don't want to lose that momentum, right? You don't want the algorithm to just forget about you. You know, like the your fans aren't, you're not, it's not really the fans you're worried about forgetting about you. It's literally the algorithm, which is pretty uh, effed. <laughs> but... Then again, I'm also not writing on YouTube as like a career. I'm just doing it for fun. So I don't really care if I get recommended or not. I'm still going to make videos either way. Uh, but I guess if you are relying it, on it as a source of income, uh, yeah, the pressure would be on. When people volunteered to create artwork and record footage for my YouTube channel, I jumped at the chance to work with them and produce cool promotional videos and lore videos. When people volunteered to make assets for Yandere Simulator, sometimes I just 
didn't have any high-priority requests for them. But I didn't want to lose the opportunity to work with such immensely talented people. So his, his problem is that <laughs> he's too much of a pe people pre pleaser. That's his problem. Which is funny because... Like, my, even my biggest criticism is that he can't take criticism when really he's, like, he just tries so hard to please everybody. That's his issue, is that he wants to please everybody and you can't please everybody. And if he's just like, well, you know what, uh, this is what I like, this is what I chose to do with my time and my game, uh, F you, instead of being, like, high and mighty about it, if he'd just been like, yeah, I'm a pretty shit person... I would have respected him instead of trying to put up this front like, oh, I'm just so, I, I, I'm so, ooh, ooh, oh my gosh, you guys, I work so hard, ooh, I'm such a wholesome widow bean, you know? <laughs> fake! People don't like it. People don't like fakeness. Honestly. All of these decisions could be considered mistakes. Times when I talked myself into doing things that I didn't actually need to do. Yeah. But at the same time, it's worth acknowledging that these decisions led to the creation of content that millions of people have enjoyed. The videos on my YouTube channel, the mini-games in Yandere Simulator, and even the Easter eggs that I've created have entertained countless people. It never felt like a waste of time or a bad decision. And it still doesn't. Producing content that makes people happy always feels like a meaningful pursuit. I will not deny that pr some people probably feel really happy. I used to feel happy watching his content, but... It's different when you're also actively lying to them, right? When you're actively also gaslighting and manipulating them. And we're, we're on the same page with that, right? Like, you can say, like, oh, yeah, there is blissful ignorance, but also you're maliciously leaving out information, which I don't agree with. These decisions contributed towards Yandere Simulator spending more time in development than I originally anticipated. But that's because the game evolved into something with much more to offer than what was initially planned. And... Okay, okay, here it comes! Here it comes! Here it comes! His rationalization, guys. Here we go. I can't really see that as a bad thing. <laughs> there it is. Called it. I don't feel that it was a mistake. However, there is something else that I do see as a mistake. Yandere Simulator's transformation happened so gradually over such a long period of time that I didn't actually notice it was happening. In my mind, I was sticking to the original plan while occasionally taking small breaks to make fun additions to the game. But in reality, I was slowly transforming Yandere Simulator into a completely different type of game than what I initially designed. Yeah, he created a spy game! Congratulations, you created... Actually, you, you just recreated Hitman. Because I failed to recognize this, I gave my audience the wrong impression about the game and its development. Okay! This is this could go one of two ways. He will either be okay, either he's going to blame the audience and play the victim and being like it's not my fault that people blah 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 <laughs> or or he might actually have some good points and justify that be like oh hey, this is this is actually the kind of game I want to make now. This is where I want to go now. Or a third one, this is always what I intended to do, but I never got to do it. Let's see. For seven years straight, across dozens of videos, I've been talking about Yandere Simulator as though it was a traditional game project, where the developer just goes down a checklist of tasks until the game is done. 
I never once described Yandere Simulator as an amusement park that I was filling with attractions, or as a project that evolves and expands in response to whatever the community is doing for fun. At absolutely every opportunity, I portrayed myself as a developer who was working single-mindedly towards a specific goal, when in truth, I was pulling the game in many different directions simultaneously, motivated by a desire to please as many people as possible. Hey, that's what I said. I told people to expect a stealth assassination game about killing ten rivals. But instead of making that, I made an amusement park with dozens of attractions and only one rival. Oh, oh, that's actually a good point. Okay, we'll see. We'll see where this goes. Because my words were inconsistent with my actions, many people began to question my intentions and doubt my integrity. Oh, that's me! Hey, that's me! This could have been avoided so easily. If only I had recognized early in development that Yandere Simulator was drifting away from the original plan, I could have told people to expect a school sandbox. <laughs> oh, it's... Uh, okay, so he's he's kind of defaulting back to, oh guys, it's, it's just a sandbox. I never intended it to be like full of story and lore, even though I did write that in the end of the demo to say like, oh, expect all of these things. Uh, and if you want these things, please donate to uh, the, the Kickstarter. That is regularly updated with new features and activities. This would have given people the correct expectations for the game. Ah, <laughs> okay, okay, this is, so instead of, <laughs> all right, so he's starting to realize that the hype he created is not something that he would be able to realistically achieve, even with the Kickstarter campaign, so now he's just, he's doing the, the Gabby Hanna, manage your expectations, okay? Oh, these people all have the same mode of action, don't they? Instead, many people completely ignore the giant mountain of content in Yandere Simulator and judge the game exclusively on the number of rivals that are not present. <laughs> because it wasn't... Like, so what is the point of it then? It's the, okay, maybe, maybe he does have a point there because ignore the giant amount of content. It isn't content, it's feature creep, right? It didn't need to be there for the game to be a game. It was just there because, oh, 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 I see how it is. He's backtracking. He's trying to, he's trying to say, guys. I've always been working super hard. <laughs> All this content, it is the game. Like, huh? I thought it was because you wanted to do the low-hanging fruit to keep up the hype. Not because it is actually the game. Like, which is it, bro? You said it was all about the hype, and now it's... Eh? Now it's because you... Set the wrong expectations? Hmm? I don't know if it's just because I'm playing Animal Crossing at the same time, but it's just not tracking. If only I hadn't placed so much emphasis on the rivals, I could have avoided a lot of problems. That is actually true. Like, he, he, the rivals are very, very poorly written. D very, very suspiciously designed. And let's be honest, writing isn't his strongest suit. He's very good at, as his, he says, like implementing low hem hanging fruit quickly. So maybe he shouldn't have, he should have managed his expectations. How about that? Huh? But, 
There is some good news. Oh, good news! All right, this is an issue of the fandom preceding the actual thing. It's a fan of, right? It's like Hetalia, which I am actually making a video on right now. It's it's like that where the content created by the fandom and the fandom itself becomes more enjoyable than the thing they they're all fans of because the all all of this lore and depth and content came from the fans basically yonder simulator has come to a point where the fans themselves are more they're more like content creators than the actual creator of the game itself it's true that Yandere Simulator was originally planned to be nothing more than anime girl hitman. But over time, it evolved into a platform that allows people to be creative and have fun in many different ways. Thankfully, there are plenty of people who recognize that eliminating rivals is only a fraction of what Yandere Simulator provides. And instead of focusing on what the game doesn't have, they enjoy Yandere Simulator for what it is. For these people, Yandere Simulator is not a game that still isn't finished after seven years. It's a game that has been regularly updated with new content for seven years. And I'm inclined to agree with that interpretation. Hey, hey it's the rationalization. Ah, bro, face yourself. Look at this. You're just, you're trying to worm your way out of this. You're trying to wriggle yourself out of a tight space, right? He's, he does this thing where if he gets cornered, he, he changes the rules and the situation and the context all to avert any kind of criticism on himself because he can't use any of the criticism to actually better himself. He would rather stay in his comfort zone. And I've also told this to uh, one of my YouTuber colleagues that he hates pushing himself. He doesn't like stepping out of his comfort zone. He just likes being where he is so he can stagnate. And that's why the game <laughs> is also very stagnant because the guy himself has never grown. When I see how much fun people are able to have with the game in its current state, it makes me feel like I've created something good. It makes me feel like the decision to update my priorities throughout development was not a bad idea. Now... After hearing me say all of that, you might be thinking, So, Yandere Dev, is this video your way of saying that you see Yandere Simulator as the type of project that just keeps getting updated with new content and features indefinitely? Uh, no, I'm not thinking that at all. And that you don't actually have any interest in working on the rivals, or... Finishing the game. It's <laughs> finishing the game. Bro, I think he's the only one who cares about that at this point. No. Actually, the opposite is true. I'm happy that I've created something that so many people enjoy for such a wide variety of different reasons. But I never intended for one project to dominate my life for seven years. Which is fair, right? Because he doesn't know how to let go or manage himself. He put himself in this position where it's like he, he doesn't, he can't go anywhere because he won't let himself. Even though I enjoy working on the game, there are so many other things I want to do with my life. Come on, we all know he doesn't just work on the game all the time. He has other things going on. He has his, his Twitch, which we all know. 
is completely unproblematic. Now, after hearing that... <laughs> uh oh <laughs> oh Here we go! More rationalization coming? You might be thinking... Okay, if you want to move on with your life so badly, then what's stopping you from just finishing the game? Bro, nobody is saying that. Nobody who has a valid point, at least. The answer is complex. Oh, <laughs> good old Yandere Dev, it's complicated. But I'll do my best to explain it. At this point in time, Yandere Simulator is basically complete. The only things that are missing are the scripted events for the remaining rivals. But to implement those events, I'll need hundreds of animations and voiced lines. To get the assets I need... Oh my god, we're going to go to the kick Kickstarter campaign, aren't we? This was all just one big sob story for you to be like, give me money, please. Money, yay. I'll have to hire animators and voice actors. And to raise enough money to pay them, I'll need to conduct a crowdfunding campaign. But people will only donate to the crowdfunding campaign if they trust me. <laughs> this is true. And nobody should trust you, not even yourself, Yandev. Listen, maybe, maybe you should get help, which uh, you've been refusing to do, as per even your close friends have said. You refuse to help yourself, and yet, I don't know, man, you're just... Nobody's gonna trust you unless you push yourself out of that comfort zone and actually, like, improve yourself and change. And that kind of forgiveness doesn't just happen with you trying to, like, m make up a pity party for yourself. And that is where the problem is. Think back to what I said earlier in the video. There are people who don't know or just don't care about the mountain of content I've added to the game. He does this thing where he's like purposefully directing you. He's purposefully directing your own reflection and like where your thought process is going. That's... Uh, he, he's creating these strings, right? He's creating these specific paths of your for like your own thoughts so that you arrive at the same conclusion as he does. When... Clearly, there's other conclusions to be made that just puts him in a less favorable light. So he treads these waters really carefully, and he just hopes that people don't question him. They judge the game exclusively by the length of time it has been in development for, and the number of rivals that are not present. And because there is only one rival in the game after seven years... They perceive Yandere Simulator as a game that has barely made any progress towards its goal. And they perceive me as a developer who doesn't deserve their trust or support. Because it's true. Because you never had a clear goal for the game. How can you make progress if you don't even know where the game is going? Like, you can only improve if you have... A certain destination to reach right like if your goal was to just create a game that goes viral then well done you've done that but you've never made any indication that that was the goal uh, because if it is done then why are you asking for the kickstarter campaign it is complete right that should be the end of it and yet you're promising all these features and all these like complex story beats that you want to add. So were they always empty promises? Were they all just an excuse for you t to get more money? Like where is that money then going to go if the game is already complete in your eyes? What are you going to do with it? Are you changing the direction again after you've just said, no, this is the direction I want to go in, but oh, I still want to go in the direction I was going before. You can't have it both ways.
It's true that various factors have resulted in Yandere Simulator's development taking longer than originally anticipated. Most of those factors are far outside of the scope of this video and will have to be discussed in detail another time. But the main problem is that when people attempt to explain why Yandere Simulator has been in development for so long, they often make up outlandish theories that are as far from the truth as possible. For example, there are actually people who really believe that Yandere Simulator's lengthy development time is part of an evil, villainous plot to stretch out the number of monthly donations I can receive. To be honest, this theory is absolutely ridiculous and falls apart after just a few seconds of critical thinking. Oh my god, he- oh, okay, oh my, he wrote a whole novel. He should read audiobooks after all. I'm trying to read through it. You can't milk money out of an- hang on, no, because you have a monetized YouTube channel, my guy. <laughs> Your YouTube channel is monetized. You're verified. You get a higher CPM rate. That's how you're making money. You're making money out of your YouTube career. Less so your game. <laughs> so, like, I understand it. The YouTube money, the ad revenue is good. His document literally explained nothing. By the way, I tried reading through it. It literally addresses nothing. He's just talk talking about it's how ridiculous it is and oh, it reminds me of someone else. Oh my god, they should date. But the fact remains that there are actually a lot of people who believe it. And sadly, that's only one example of many things that people say about Yandere Simulator and myself which are not true. As long as there is a large number of people who doubt my integrity, I predict that a crowdfunding campaign would have zero chance of success. Which is the point. We want you to we want to push you out of your comfort zone and actually better yourself and not reward yourself for this kind of tri this kind of behavior. In other words, just finish the game. No. Just stop it. And get help, my dude. Is not an option right now. Because it's currently impossible for me to get the support I need to bring this project to completion. It, it isn't. Because that's not what I'm saying. And that's not what I think a lot of people are saying. Because Yandere Simulator's future is entirely dependent on whether or not people trust me and feel comfortable supporting me, I think that my current goal should be to restore people's faith in me. Yeah, how should you, and how will you do that? There are a lot of things I'll need to do in order to accomplish that. But one of the things I'd like to do first is to demonstrate my ability to put ten rivals into the game in a timely fashion. Oh my god. Dude, <laughs> that's the wrong way. Show that you are capable of bettering yourself by taking care of yourself because it seems like you're bragging about neglecting yourself and living unhealthily. You can't manage yourself. So like if you can't even manage yourself, how do we expect you to manage a game? You might be thinking... How in the world could you possibly do that? But actually, I have an idea that would allow me to achieve this goal in a relatively short amount of time, without the need for any new animations or new voice acting. I want it to be a surprise, so I'm going to keep it a secret until it's ready. But I will say one thing. For some people, it will satisfy the criteria of making Yandere Simulator a finished game. He's just changing the goal. He's like moving the finish line. It's like he set a deadline for himself, but then was like, no, this isn't gonna work for me. 
And instead of acknowledging that you failed to meet that goal and trying to think of how you could improve yourself, you're just like, no, this is always on the right track. I've never made a mistake ever. Nope, not me. So, now that I've had all this time to think about it, how would I define Yandere Simulator? Is it a stealth assassination game about killing ten girls? Or is it an amusement park full of activities? Well, the answer is... It's both. It's both. Oh my god! I'm... I know this man too well. I plan to deliver a game about eliminating ten rivals with fun stealth mechanics. And while I'm doing so, I will also be observing what players like doing and regularly adding new features and content to the game according to what the community enjoys. Oh, bro! You can't even do one, and now you're gonna do both. That's not a smart idea. I literally just said you can't have it both ways because it's not sustainable. Watch him make another video in a few months about how, oh, last time I said I wanted to do both, but I I kind of uh, over, uh underestimated how hard that would be, so now I'm doing this instead, which is reflect on my oh, reflect on your own capabilities and current skill set, my guy. And sometimes I'll put stuff into the game just for fun. I'm sorry if you hoped that the game's development was going to proceed differently. But this is just how things turned out. Yeah, there you go, ladies and gentlemen. And if you're happy with how things turned out, feel free to donate to Yandere Dev. But if you are as done with this guy's antics and you don't support his self-deterioration, self-neglect, then don't. Please don't. Please don't reward this man for his self-destructive behavior. Because it's not gonna end well for anyone, and especially not for him. Sweet. Right. 50 minutes. That's the longest time I've ever recorded. Um, final thoughts. I am kind of sick of this. I really don't care anymore. And yet, I'm just very good at complaining about things. <laughs> so I like to do that. It's good for me to rant. And I don't know, this is kind of a bit low, eh, low effort. It was quick for me to get out. And I just wanted to put my two cents in there. Hmm. I don't know. I, I'm i allowed to do that. And if you don't like it, uh, then that's okay. We're all entitled to our opinions. If you support Yandere Dev, um, yeah, sure. Support him. Do what you want. I'm not the boss of you. You can do whatever you want. But this is what I choose to do with my life, so don't judge me and I won't judge you. <laughs> okay? Alright, see you laters.